Hey you, it's me Lauren. Welcome to my channel. Today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. Oh my god, I've got hair in my mouth. Today is gonna be a little bit of a different video. I've decided to show you some <laughs> old performances you've probably never seen before in your life. <laughs> I have not seen them in years, so I don't know what to expect either. So I'm gonna be reacting to the videos too and just telling you a little bit about them. It's gonna be insight for all the people that ask me about my confidence and say, Lauren, how are you so confident? Blah, 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 wasn't always. This is the truth. This is the true me. Okay, roll the intro. What's up? My name is Lauren. Oh, hi. You are listening to me live on the mic for my haters. They're the first in line. Her just making a chat. And they're losing their mind. Cause I'm talking to you. The kids that are angry and sad and confused. Let's talk about feelings and loving yourself. Cause talking is healing for your mental health, boy. So I'm starting it off with one of the first kind of performances I did. Like I had a lot before this, but this is a school performance. This is when I was 12 years old. I'm singing with my best friend. Bear it in mind, I went to a Catholic school. Vision this, let's hit it. Oh, absolutely gutted. So I've just uploaded this video to YouTube for it then to block the video because of the Highway to Hell ACDC cover in it. But just see the visual, the little highlight here as well when we did the final bit and the solo came in, all the kids jump in, it was so cute. And the saddest thing is on this video, my mum was shouting in the background going, go girl, go girl. My mum at the beginning and near the end shouts, go girl, go girl. See, my mum has been there from the start supporting me. <laughs> That's so cute. This performance was outside school, so you could win a competition to win a studio experience. So I'd never been in a studio before, and this was like, this was a big deal. This was like, holy shit, I could be in a real studio one day. So let's give that a little look. <laughs> so cute <laughs> I remember I felt so cute in that outfit like with my bracelets and all my little accessories I always accessorized I love them bracelets I was a bracelet fiend that performance was quite awful I sang outside of school and it was surrounded by people just talking like loads of kids stood watching and kind of talking there were like a fair going on it was horrific and I had dry throat I remember this one Ooh. So I had this singing teacher and she had loads of students and amongst all of her little bratty students we had a competition. Oh, I hate competitions. This is me in the competition. I didn't win. I never I never win, but here we go. <laughs> My skin looks great. Like, my arms look real good. I loved my hair like that and kids at school were just like, are you a lesbian? Are you a lesbian because you've got short hair? Yeah, I was shitting myself on that performance, utterly. But I, I knew my nana liked this song, like my nana granted loved these songs. I did an album full of 60s covers for them. Love it.
you notice that I will, I will laugh at the end of everything and I would, I would finish singing and then I'd go, <laughs> cause I was so embarrassed. Like I was so embarrassed to sing. Like even though I loved to sing, I still felt so embarrassed when I held that mic. My arms doing these move, moves all practiced. I had to practice all of these moves just to feel comfortable. But you're doing well now, Lauren, you did it. Good girl. Oh, <laughs> little me, little me. Okay, this video, this video is when I was in the school band, right? So I was in the school band and the teachers were in the band. Like, <laughs> there's nothing really cool about being in the school band if you are basically with the teachers in the band. No offense, but it's not very cool. <laughs> Let me just remind you, when the people at school cheer, hell, they aren't cheering for me. They're cheering for the teachers to behind me playing the solo bit. I don't know how I sang along to this band, honestly. <laughs> Oh, poor me. You know, I can just, I read my eyes. I look into my eyes and I know what she was thinking. She's singing thinking, this sounds wank. <laughs> this sounds wank. There's nothing worse than when you're playing and the band mess up and you're like trying to hold it together. Like, oh, this is not working. Yeah. Oh my God. So this next performance, <clears throat> I remember this. It was Halloween. I used to get this problem when I was singing where I used to really fixate over my throat and think, it needs to be lubed. Like, I need to lube my throat. And I used to drink so much shit. Like, I'd just be drinking, like, honey and lemon and licorice and everything I can possibly think of that I can just keep drinking. I was so nervous that I used to just down, like, teas after each other. I remember this gig was really horrible because this is not the performance. There was, I sang a song after this song and I remember my voice cut out. Obviously, my mum didn't film it, you know. Or I deleted it, knowing me. restrained I am. I restricted myself so much when I sang. I was just like so tight. I just so tight and held together but at the same time I'm glad she was like that. I'm glad she had nerves and I'm glad she was tight and all <sighs> because like when I watch back it's like she grew naturally. She wasn't just one of these people that just freaking awesome at everything. Like I weren't. I weren't. I weren't straight confident. It took a long time and and I'm glad, I'm proud of you, little me. <laughs> Screw them all. So this one is a performance I did. It says 2010. So this is, this is 10 years ago. What? 
what? 10 years ago? Holy macaron, how old am I now? So this was a duet that I did with a girl at school and um, I, I, I hate duets hate them i remember before we got on stage she said oh i'm just gonna change the key and i was like how can you change the key like we're doing it to a track and she said i'm just gonna sing it in a different key because i don't feel like i'll be able to hit the note so i was like what what we've practiced harmonies you can't do this <laughs> it was it was yeah let's have a look <laughs> God, I always absolutely blinged up in there. Ah, oh, I love pink. <laughs> I love pink and you can tell, literally, when I watch these videos, like throwback videos, you can see that I love pink. And people used to say that at school and they used to bully me about it. But, but look now, bitch. <laughs> look now. <laughs> okay, this song, this performance haunts me because I remember I used to have a singing teacher and we used to talk about this song all the time because it's nobody knows by pink okay and the high note the no no nobody knows no that one <laughs> and I, I could never hit the note this troubled me a lot i was very nervous but let's let's end <laughs> 2009 look at that hair Nobody knows, nobody likes, nobody likes to lose or in a void. The one I used to hear before my life made a choice, but I think nobody knows, no, nobody knows. The child, the baby, my voice is so young. Uh, I'd love to just go back in time and have one more go at that voice. It's so, it's so pure and cute. Pure and cute before the alcohol touched it, before the road shit on it. <laughs> oh, you know, that was the only time in school that I was popular. So that was my first year at school, 2009. So I'd be right there, I'd be about 12 or 13 years old. That was the only time that people liked me really because after then i cut my hair and people were like who's this freak no one even gave a damn but then back there long-haired me whoa i wish i could just have it back she was quite popular so this is the note <laughs> let's let's go but I think nobody
was so gutted. I was gutted because I went out of tune. So I'd got dressed ready to go and my mum was just like, Lauren, before you go, what's that note again? And I'd be like, oh, it's mum, I can do it. It's this. No, no, no. <laughs> and I'd do it and I'd be like, I can do it. And you know, just when you just, you just know, you just know deep within, this has gone chaos. It went chaotic because I really held a lot to that note. The bit I'd practiced for months and months and months and I were never going to sing this song again after that point. I was like, Psh. I mean, it's not that bad. It wasn't that bad. But for little me back then, it was bad. Now, this is a performance where I'm blinged up as usual. Um, this was another contest that I'd done with this singing teacher. So she made a big point saying that I had to stop touching my hair when I sang. And I'd be like, I don't even touch my hair. What? I never touch my hair. <laughs> yeah. I used to be singing and I'd just be constantly just brushing my fringe, like, because it was swooped. I had the swooping fringe that I used to just spend the entire performance just sorting my fringe and very off-putting. My singing teacher gave me these hand movements to do, so she said, like, do sing like this and then make sure your hands move in as you sing and do this kind of thing, which, you know... I used it as a comfort blanket to the point where she said, maybe like a little bit less, maybe don't move it as much, but I can't help it now because let's listen. everything about the <laughs> thinking that you know like I'm trying to be Ariana Grande but yeah I never I used to focus on the high note I'd focus on the hitting the high note and I'd focus on the little <laughs> I didn't really think about anything else I just thought that's what is impressive and that's all that matters now this video is super duper cute. I remember this like it was yesterday. So <laughs> in this video, I was 13. I got picked on at school for this video because I'm stroking my cat in it. Obviously the boys at school were like, look at Lauren Taylor stroking her pussy. Pussy. <laughs> right, epic, great one. Never thought of that, but here we go. This is me singing pink again because obviously that's all I wanted to be when I was younger. <laughs> The way we fight, the times I cry, we come to a close and every night the passion's dead, so it's gotta be right, right. No one. is my cat oh my god and i'm wondering why do i have a holy bible ho holy children's bible on the table next to me <laughs> what's that there oh my god mauser so that was mauser he was my bezzy my absolute bezzy mate at school oh my kitty and twats at school bullying me 
I mean, I understand why they did it because kids are little shits. You can just see in my eyes, I'm just like, believe me, believe in me, <laughs> say I'm good. You are good, little me. Ooh, different, different angle. Let's give it a little blast. Bowser so much. <laughs> I don't want to be mean to myself, but this is probably the weirdest I've ever looked. I have many weird looks, but I don't know what I was quite thinking with this one. I have very strange style going on, but let's have a little look at this. This is a cover of What's Up by Fawn on Blondes. Oh, Braces as well. I miss my braces. I just really wish I had braces right now. I should go. It's funny how like things that were embarrassing back then you you'd have now. All right, let's have a little blast at some high notes, shall we? How much I want it. I'm like just trying so hard to be like how I I don't know what I'm saying. It's weird. It's like I don't know what was going on with my lips. I think I put foundation on them at that time. Everything I see in little me, I see in me now. It's like that strive to become something. And you just want people to just think that you're good. Like you just like please like me. At the same time you're like please so I feel like I have to just tell you a little bit about this next video. This is a video that I filmed in my bathroom. I'm sat in the bath. I'm not. Na I'm not naked. I sat on the edge of the bath for the. 
I have the CD player on the toilet. My mum is filming. My mum is always filming and she's still always filming, except right now I do my vlogs. She's not allowed to come in because I said I can't talk when she's here. This is me in the bathroom and her filming and Olivia, my sister, is also there watching me too. But this sang along to the track. So my mum used to do this all the time when she was filming me. She used to sing over the track whilst filming and then I'd listen back and be like, mum, you, you bloody singing. You can hear my mum singing and it's so cute. You can hear my sister singing too. This is, I, I don't know why. really cute about this song also as well as I dedicated this to my best friend who was in the first video because I always used to be scared that one day we were gonna we were gonna not be friends anymore and she'd do her thing and I'd do mine it happened mm. <laughs> yeah I look like such a little boy it's cute <laughs> Like my mum's always been like that throughout my life. Like, go girl, go girl, show them, you show them. Because she knew how badly I wanted to be a singer and she knew how badly I wanted to be good at it. You can just hear her like, come out of your shell. Come on, stop being so embarrassed. Because I used to get so embarrassed. <laughs> and then finally, this video I left till last. I have loads more videos like this. So let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos like this and I will show you even older videos, more current videos, whatever you feel, let me know. I was always interested to know what you think. But I thought I'd keep this video to last because it's by far the most different now. But I recorded myself singing this in my room so you can see the difference in confidence when I record something when someone's not there. I wanted to be a pop star. I wanted to be like pink. I wanted to be world class. And in reality, it was gonna take years until I could get better. But I just wanted it all there and then. And back then, if someone had given me a record deal to sign, I'd just be like, yes, yes, make my dreams come true, please. But as you get older, you realize there's a lot more goes in it than that. <laughs> but this is where it started. This is Who Knew by Pink. Pink. Obviously, it's by Pink. And this is me singing it. I took your hand to show me how you promised me you'd be around. Uh huh, that's right. I took your words and I believed. Everything you said to me, yeah, that's right. If someone said three years from now, you'd be long gone. I stand up and punch their mouth, cause they're all wrong. I know. Forever. 
obviously everyone at school took the piss i uploaded this to youtube i got like 100 views at one point on this video before i took it down people ripped me to shreds like oh my god who do you think you are blah blah and i had to fight that all the time at school like who do you think you are why do you think you're some kind of pop star when you're just a weird little lesbian girl like what the baby oh just At one point, I do this thing up the wall like a worm. <laughs> I remember doing this. Three years from now, you belong to that stand up and punch in your mouth. The zero wrong, yeah. The last kiss, I'll cherish until we meet again. That's how they get harder. scratch my stomach you can tell i was all about the abs back then my god <laughs> i did taekwondo so i used to have abs but okay that is the last of my videos i showed quite a bit but i obviously like i said i still have way more that i could show so let me know if you enjoyed that kind of video and i'll do another because i have the content to do it luckily my mum filmed everything i have some from like further back in my childhood where i'm singing like just in my room and stuff so let me know if you'd like to see that hit subscribe whack that little bell make sure you get the notifications if i put a video up i'm gonna be uploading a video like every week so i'll see you next week with another video and in the meantime keep freaking fighting for what you believe in keep believing in yourself keep going in your dreams and everything you're doing massive love and kisses from me thanks for joining me this week and bye bye